35, you have multiple failed relationships, multiple failed long-term relationships. Being in the army is worse than being on OnlyFans. Wow. You're selling your body to the government. So I turned 30 in like six weeks and I've been single my whole life. I am honestly really sad right now, if you can tell. Due to their poor decision, they're suffering. So I have a question. It's a big question and it's for all you hot single guys. I want to know where you are. The reason why below bare minimum low effort men love to scare us with the prospect of being alone, of being worthless, is because they are projecting their fears of being alone and worthless. They simply cannot fathom that women are choosing to be single because a man. I left my boyfriend and I've been traveling for 10 days and I've slept with 22 people in that 10 days. That's just nasty. My goal was 20 and I just hit 22 this morning. It's 1 p.m. now here in Paris and I need to check out because I'm going home. I really doubt I'm going to get another one on the board either on the plane or like on my layover. So I think 22 is where we're going to cap it out. But how did I go? Now I've already showed you this clip. Apparently we got another who's doing the same thing. I hope this isn't a trend because that's just nasty. If you decided to not be my boyfriend, I'm going to tell you why you messed up. Because I'm an S worker. Um, I'm going to go in 17 days and travel for the next six weeks. I'm going to go to Hawaii, to Australia, and to Indonesia. And you could have had an all expense paid trip. And all you would have had to do is hold a steady camera. Does that sound nice? Are you stupid? Does that sound nice? Because anyways, if anyone wants to fall in love in the next 17 days, that's my offer. <laughs> Please, 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 universe, someone, please. I'm begging you. I want to be in love so badly. I don't want to have to find a travel boyfriend that's not fun. I want to travel with my boyfriend. Yeah, so. If you like girls like me, just like me, please. This woman has got to be crazy. She says all her man has to do is hold a camera. What kind of man, respectable man, would enjoy filming their woman getting smash while he records? She claims she wants love, but she's doing the opposite, preventing that from happening. So, I have a question. It's a big question. And it's for all you hot single guys. I want to know where you are. Because... I can't find you. You're not in any coffee shop. You're not on most of the dating apps that I've been on before. And you're not hanging out with my mates. So where are you? Literally, tell me. Tell me your location. Because I have almost retired my vagina because I can't find a single guy that I find remotely attractive, funny, smart, intelligent, charming. Where are you? Do you all go and hibernate on some far off island somewhere else? Like for the summer and the winter and the autumn and like literally come out for like two weeks and oop, I missed you. Where are you? Come on, like answers on a postcard. Send Auburn's, send your location to me, and I'm coming. Literally coming. In case you can't tell, when she says attractive and hot, she's talking about the chads, the playboys. I'm pretty sure there's been a lot of men approaching her trying to hit on her, but she most likely turned them down. Matter of fact, these men today are valuing themselves, more realizing that modern dating is just not worth it. That's why they're going overseas. Women is mad because look at her, she's pretty. Yeah. <laughs> and she's a housewife and she takes care of two kids. But it's not her fault. They didn't even say yeah, that we steal know. their men. No, you know, no, we don't steal your men. Do your yeah. men come in here? Low blows. <laughs> they're just clowning Western women right now. This is what men today are looking for. Get your passport. You got a passport, right? The biggest side they would have sex in the staircase. What was that? What staircase? <laughs> in my building. Why are you just to take them in the crib? Uh-uh! They come in my crib unless they got to know me first. Are you stupid? I hope she realized what she just said was extremely stupid. So she can smash a guy on the staircase of her home, but he can't smash her in her house unless he got to know her. 
He's already gotten to know your guts. They've made contact. Honestly, she has her values in the wrong places. Women. Women. <laughs> <laughs> Being in the army is worse than being on OnlyFans. Wow. You're selling your body to the government. What the hell are you talking about? 35, you have multiple failed relationships, multiple failed long-term relationships. You clearly have fucked up somewhere. You haven't done your assessment and, and, and gotten right mm -hmm. so that you can get what you want. And you got the passport, bro, boo. You got all the Instagram, boo. You got the... Ah, oh, you're gonna be dying along with a cat. <laughs> you, you, you don't have the 30 G's to freeze your eggs. Like all you a four like, or a ten. Yeah, like all this. You're not a seven. So I'm just saying, <laughs> like at best, based on what you, as a man, how do you assess what her response is? A woman at 35 with multiple failed relationships should serve as a red flag to man. He's got to think, after all these years, not one man chose to take you serious. Something has got to be wrong. Most of the time, these women are sleeping around, traveling for years. And when that time comes for them to settle, it's too late. She's already given her best years to the world. Do not be that guy who save her. You know what? I don't I hate to say this. I don't want to be a strong, independent woman. I want to be 60% hotter and have a staff that does things for me. <laughs> I am honestly really sad right now, if you can tell. Um, that's like the weirdest thing about grief is like, didn't cry for two days, was good for two days, and now I'm by myself and it's just like, the hurricane like it just it's here again you know it's the tsunami is back like it's just so hard and like i'm frustrated because i you know got my whole world got disheveled and i feel like he has moved on and he is healed and moved on and doesn't care about me which I don't want him to come back into my life, but it still just sucks, you know? I can't imagine, you know, thank you guys for sharing stuff, like, stories that you've been, like, you've gotten through this and it's been however many years, because I could not imagine that. I can't imagine being with someone for a really long time and going through this, you know? Sorry if you can hear my cat literally playing in the background. Um, like, I was only with him for four and a half years, one year married. I could not imagine though, being with him for longer and this happening, but it's just, it's just so sad sometimes. And it's like so hard to have to learn how to do life by yourself again. Like, you know, you don't have that person to call all the time or that best friend to go do things with. And that's what scares me. I've never truly been alone and worked on myself. And I'm terrified of it. Not me crying on the internet more, but I just want to share all of it, the good and the bad, you know, so that I have this to look on a year from now and know that I did heal, but also to help anybody else who's going through heartbreak. Like heartbreak sucks. It sucks so bad you like physically feel the pain emotionally mentally everything and again i had two really really good days did not cry at all those two days and then you know as soon as i'm by myself or as soon as you know i do something or something triggers me it just all comes flooding back and like it's just a lot it's grief sucks this whole thing sucks so bad and i'm literally praying and thinking about anybody else going through a divorce i just wanted to talk about the fact that it's okay to sit down and miss the person sometimes miss the connection you had i think a lot of the times i try and i think i'm really strong about what happened to me most of the time and i think that i haven't cried about my ex in a long time actually um 
But today, I just kind of sat down. And this is a holiday I probably would have spent with his family, too. And it's okay to just, like, miss what you had sometimes. Like, I don't think... I know that we try and tell ourselves, like, well, you know, they weren't right for us. Or maybe they were a bad person. Or maybe they did this. Or they did this to you. And, like, while I think that's true, and, like, I think that you can tell yourself that. I mean, that's, like... I try and put on this really, sorry, this is very rambly, but I really did just pick up the camera and start talking. I think what I'm trying to say is that we tell ourselves, or at least I do, if I'm thinking about my ex, I typically am just like, nope, not going to think about him. Like, we're detaching, you know what I mean? And that works the majority of the time. But sometimes you can just sit down and cry. You can sit down and let out your feelings. And I think people who don't ever cry about things or people who don't ever let themselves think about it, like we have to think about it. We have to feel the things. And that doesn't make you weak. Like being vulnerable does not make you weak. I really hate when people say that um, because life is all about the human emotions and what we go through. You know what I mean? Like that is literally life. And um, I just think that it's okay to just sit down and miss what you had. It's okay to, and, and that's not even me saying, oh, I miss my ex. I miss blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that sometimes I miss having a connection like that where I felt like, oh, I had a person, right? And like, I had my person. I miss that for sure. But I think sometimes it's okay. It's okay to grieve. It's okay to sit. And I think a lot of the times we try and distract or we try and fill with voids or we try and move on to the next person and some days it's okay to just sit and it's okay to have a have a cry and get back out there in life something really quickly so whenever i figured out that my ex-husband was dating the girl that i was worried about at the end of our marriage I was so sad at first and then I realized how much stronger I am now than even I was six months ago because that would have made me feel devastated for like weeks I feel like and I was really only sad for like a day or two like yeah it still hurts it's disappointing and it hurts but it's almost like the anticipation of what I thought was going to be my worst nightmare now that it like came true I'm just kind of like oh okay like that says way more about him than it does me and our relationship. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I just kind of wanted to share that and share where my headspace is at and everything. Do not fall for the tears. She knew exactly what she was doing when she initiated the divorce. What she was expecting was for him to still be simping over her when everything was over. It takes a strong man to not look back on his past and keep his head forward. A man goes where it is peaceful and where he is respected. If he doesn't have those, he's gone. He probably didn't get enough of that when he was with her. That's probably why he didn't look back on this woman. Subscribe.